Let us consider a circular disk of radius r, radius r, and center o, center o. We need to find, we need to find the moment of inertia of this circular disk about the axis passing through its center and perpendicular to its plane. Let's call this axis y, y dash. Let this disk is having a uniform mass per unit area. Let rho be the mass per unit area, unit area of the disk, of the circular disk, circular disk. Now let us consider a thin strip of area like this. Let the thickness of this thin strip be dx and let the thin strip is at a distance of x units from the axis. See, this is the thin strip. And let its thickness be dx. Thickness is equal to dx. And if you open this thin strip, you will get a figure like this. You will get a rectangle. Since the thickness is very small, that is the thickness is dx, thickness is very small, these two length remains the same. The upper and bottom length remains the same. And the length of, of, and the length of the strip will be the perimeter of the circle perimeter of this circle with the radius x. So the length of the strip will be 2 pi x. You know the perimeter of circle of radius x is equal to 2 pi x. Therefore, area of the strip, area of the thin strip, thin strip will be length into breadth. Length is equal to 2 pi x, 2 pi x and breadth is dx and the mass of the thin strip will be mass of the strip of mass of the thin strip thin strip will be let's call that mass as dm is equal to area area into mass per unit area that's the formula area into mass per unit area you know area is equal to 2 pi x dx into mass per unit area rho. But you know mass per unit area of the of the disk will be total mass m divided by area of the disk. Area will be pi r square. Where m is the mass of the disk and pi r square is the area of the disk. So dm will be the mass of the strip will be 2 pi x dx into m divided by pi r square. You can cancel this pi and this pi and the equation becomes 2 m by r square 2 m by r square x dx. Let's call that as equation number 1. dm is equal to 2 m by r square x dx. Now, we must find the moment of inertia of this strip, moment of inertia of this strip about the axis. That is, the moment of inertia, moment of inertia of the strip, of the strip about the axis, moment of inertia of the strip about this axis will be mass of the strip that is dm into distance of the strip from the axis that is x square. You know the, this, the strip is at a distance of x distance from the axis. 
substituting the value of tm that is 2m divided by r square x dx into x square let's call that as di so in order to get the total moment of inertia you must integrate this one that is 2m divided by r square x into x square is equal to x cube dx since the variable in here is x so x varies x is the radius of this radius of this or the distance of the strip from the axis it will vary from radius will vary from 0 and the maximum distance x can have is r the radius of the disk so x varies from 0 to r now you can integrate this thing that is this will be i is equal to i is equal to you can take the 2m by r square outside since it is a constant integral 0 to r x cube dx this is equal to 2m by r square x integral of x cube equal to x raised to 4 divided by 4 0 to r so this is equal to i is equal to 2m by r square times first substitute first introduce this upper limit that is r raised to 4 divided by 4 no need to write the second limit because it is 0 so this is equal to you can cancel this 2 and this 4 will be 2 r square and r raised to 4 it will be m r root square on the top divided by 2 or it is equal to i is equal to or i is equal to half m r square so this is the expression for the moment of inertia of a circular disk clear